Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel and today we are going to be talking about my top 5 most valuable vinyls according to Discogs. So yeah, let's get into the video. So before I start this video, I just want to say if you are into vinyl videos at all, then I actually have a playlist which you can find, I think it's up here maybe up there, which I go through my whole entire vinyl collection and every single update I've posted since the original video. So if you are at all interested in vinyl videos, then check those vinyl videos out. And without further ado, let's get into this. So if you didn't already know, Discogs is a app and a website where you can upload your entire vinyl collection to the website and they tell you which ones are more expensive than other ones. You have your entire collection on there. You can sell vinyls, buy vinyls. Uh, it's a really great app and website which I'd highly recommend. But one feature I really like about it is the fact that you can see what they estimate your collection's worth. So you have a bottom tier figure, a middle tier and a top tier based on previous sales on their website so you can see how expensive your vinyls are which is i think is really cool so today we're going to be looking at my collection and which ones discog thinks are the most expensive and the most valuable so let's get into it so according to discogs i have 162 vinyl records and signed CDs in my collection. And the fifth most valuable vinyl is this Dr. Dre 2001 vinyl. Uh, this is just literally as simple as it gets. Single sleeve, I'm pretty sure it's on, it's on two LP, so yeah, quite a lot of songs, but this is an absolutely classic hip hop album. Uh, yeah, I really like this one. And I bought this even before I had my Audio Technica vinyl player. Uh, the LP120, if you're looking for a new vinyl player, I can't recommend it enough. Yeah, I bought this even before then because I was excited. I want this to be the first record that I play on there. And I bought it for £15, which you can see there. And yeah, I played this one a fair amount, but it's quite battered on the sleeve, which you can see there. But interestingly enough, Discogs reckons that this one is worth £51.53. pence. Um, so yeah, massive up value on what I actually paid for it, which is sick. Uh, so yeah, Dr. Dre 2001, quite surprising. Maybe this just wasn't reprinted on vinyl. And so that's why it's so rare, but yeah, super sick one for my collection and cool to know that it's quite valuable as well. Next up is one that I'm not really surprised is on this list. I wanted this for ages. I actually missed out on the release of this in the UK. And when I went to San Francisco last November, I got this sent to the hotel and this is my Astro World vinyl. This is just all in one sleeve. Not, it doesn't fold out like a gatefold or something. But the cool thing about this, uh, and you would have seen it in my last video, which you can check, I think it's up there. Maybe it's up there. The thing that I like is that it's on purple vinyl and it's caught this cool like splatter effect of it. Um, yeah, it's a really sick vinyl. Obviously, everyone knows Travis Scott. He is a, a machine at the moment. He is killing the game in terms of trap rappers. In fact, I have thought about doing a video where I rank all of his albums. So if you would like to see that video, please leave a like because um, it really would show that you would like support that video. So yeah, definitely leave a like down below if you'd like to see that video. But yeah, Astro, I'm not surprised about this. This is worth 51.99, so only about 44p extra than the Dr. Dre one. But yeah, I'm still not surprised. This is valuable. And this actually, I think this costs like 25 quid or 30 quid or something. So obviously the value in the UK has increased, which is sick. And yeah, this is a cool one that is valuable and I'll probably have this one forever because I absolutely love this album. So next up, is maybe a surprise vinyl, which I wouldn't expect would be high and valuable in my collection. But this one is actually Taboo by Denzel Curry. Yeah, a great, another great album, man. I mean, Denzel Curry is absolutely one of the most underrated artists 
I can possibly think of at the moment. He is putting out insane material. His last album, Zoo, fun fact for you, all freestyle. The whole album was freestyles. And mate, that is insane. That makes the album even better in my eyes. But yeah, obviously the vinyl we're talking about today is Taboo, which is a great album. This is actually another one that I just got from his website and it was quite quick delivery. So I reckon he has a distributor in the UK. But it's like this red sort of splattered vinyl, all on one side of vinyl, which I, uh, well, one vinyl, which if you've seen my previous videos, you will know that is something I rate in vinyl. And yeah, this is an absolute sick vinyl. And this is actually worth 56 pound. And I definitely didn't pay that. I think I paid about 20 quid for this. So yeah, another one that's sick. It just shows that if you're a vinyl collector or you want to invest in vinyl, it is an easy way to, you know, increase your margins. Uh, I mean, I only paid 20 quid for this. It's worth 56. I could make myself another 26 pound if I sold this. But I'm not going to because I really like this album and um, I really like Denzel Curry and I'm going to support his music in the future. So yeah, Zoo, it's a great one to have on vinyl. I'm really happy with this one. And it's cool to know, again, that this is an expensive one. So the second most expensive one in my collection is no surprise to me, to be honest. I remember when Flower Boy came out. You're probably guessing what it is now. When Flower Boy came out and uh, I missed the vinyl, I really regret that. I, that's one I really want as it's worth over a hundred pound now. But um, yeah, so they released it on like a orange vinyl. And I, when that, I missed out on that and then I saw how expensive it was, I just thought to myself, I cannot miss out again. So when Eagle came out, I was like, pre-order that boy. And yeah, I got it. It's an exclusive cover. I can't remember who the artist is. Uh, and it's a gatefold like this. Oh, you can see there. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. And it's cool as well. It's on a mint vinyl color. I'll just pull that out for you. It's like, well, sort of like, I don't know, spearmint green, I'd say. I'm absolutely thrilled I got this on vinyl. And it's one of my all time favorite albums. Uh, my favorite title of the creator album by a mile and so yeah it's cool to know that this is worth 71 pound 25 so already this has increased loads in value i'm i look back now and i wish i bought two because imagine i could have sold it for a lot of money but yeah this is so worth having for me i love tyler and even though it is a lot of money very expensive one it is sick and i'm gonna keep it I'm definitely gonna keep it, so. Now, before we get into the final vinyl in this video, that rhyme, what, comment down below, what do you think it is? Leave a comment down below, what do you think my most expensive vinyl is? I know you're about to find out, and some of you might cheat, but that will, you know, it will be just good to know what you think it's gonna be. And second thing, what's your most expensive vinyl? Let's discuss this. Let's see what other people are collecting, what are like the rare, exclusive vinyls that you have in your collection and um yeah leave a comment down below i mean before i started this video i definitely thought that one of my most expensive vinyls would probably be i've got the childish gambino box set that he released that's pretty rare i've got a first pressing of purple rain uh uk pressing as well which is obviously nice because i'm in the uk so I thought it might be one of those two, but honestly, this vinyl absolutely shocked me as it's one I've not even touched. I've not even played this. And it is Mabel, Ivy to Roses. So yeah, this, I don't know, it is signed by Mabel, so maybe that increases the value slightly. It's such a random one to have as the most expensive vinyl. Like, I don't know, did they not print many of these? This is actually a gift from my dad uh, last year, I think. So yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I was totally shocked to find out this is the most expensive one. This is actually worth 72 pound. So not that much more than Igor on vinyl, but it still is the most expensive vinyl in my collection. Mabel, Ivy's Roses, that's a ridiculous price man for this. I mean, I could sell it. I could sell it for a lot of money and I might do that in future. This is the vinyl that Discogs thinks is my most expensive. Mabel Ivy to Roses, very interesting to know. 
So we have reached the conclusion of this video. Um, I thought this was a really fun video actually. Like it's cool exploring your collection and finding out which vinyl you own are rare. It's just good because it gives you a good indication of the market of vinyl, what vinyl increases in price and what vinyl drops in price. And yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. So if you'd like more on this, um, I actually have an entire signed CD collection, which I haven't shown you guys. Um, so yeah, if we get this video past 10 likes maybe, I will drop that video, or I will film that video even, um, because yeah, that's, that'll be another really good one to see. And so yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Definitely like the video. Just show me the support. Yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Oh, God. God.